the youth composed nearly two-thirds of Egypt's population. Of this massive social segment, very little have had the opportunity to take leading roles in the country. Tarel Khouli was one of those few youngsters who've sparked the uprising. He's also among the fewer of those who've made it to politics. It was quite naive for us to think that we could easily turn the slogans of the revolution into a political project that we could implement with our leadership. Political work is hard, and to enter this field is difficult, because no one will open the doors for the youth and give them a warm welcome in this world. So to get a chance to lead this country, we must strive for an opportunity and cling to it. We had to break the taboo that the youth are incapable. After the 2013 ouster of President Mohamed Morsi, El Khouli was among the first to send outstanding political messages. Then he became one of the 16 youth members of the parliament who've benefited from a new quota system that aims to ensure seats for those marginalized from the political life. That was a burden because my prime mission has become to look after our concerns. I felt pressure because me and my young MPs are the first to take such responsibility. We must put the foundation of our whole generation. If we are not successful, we'll be disappointed, which means this country won't succeed. But if we manage to give our hope to our generation, it means 60 to 70 percent of the population is hopeful. So definitely, this country will rise. The 32 years old Egyptian has been entrusted to take leading roles in presidential events dedicated to the youth. Last year, El Sisi has appointed him in a committee responsible to report all those who've been unjustly prisoned without charges filed against them. I think the president alone is the one who believes in empowering the youth. And when he delegated this vision to the executive institutions of the country, it was not executed. He was forced to create the youth conference, the presidential youth program, not the government's. So he is personally following up on that so that the state would abide to it, because the state does not believe in the youth. Egypt is moving forward to be a regional example in transferring power to a young generation. Critics say that only those who support the administration have been blessed with such initiatives, while many of the 2011 January youth powers remain behind bars. In any case, there are fears that these efforts might not last once the Egyptian leadership lacks the will. Adil Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.